I'm going to be showing some animated materials, the UV tool, and corner editing. So this first material I have is dotted outline. It's kind of like hologram, but there's no middle. You can walk right through it, and then you got these dotted outlines. Uh, you can't edit anything really. You can tweak it, just these normal uh, functions, but properties are just about the same as any other material. This next one is uh, called dust. This one's pretty neat. I, ha I have the back. This is just rubber. I just have it so you can see the dust easier. Um, you can change the color, brightness, and you can change the speed. So if I can make it move really fast. Um, let me show you the UV tool. You can move it around. You can zoom in, zoom out, rotate. Do all that fancy stuff. Now you have these functions down here. This one will reset the position back to its center point, I guess. And this one will reset the, the rotation and the zoom. And here we have clouds. Just another animated one. And now we have running water. You can tweak the color, but it's not very noticeable. It's just a little bit of color change. See, it, it changes color, but it's not, it's kind of subtle. Here we have rain. You can walk through it like normal. It's rain. We have cloud, or not clouds, uh, snow. You can also tweak these. make really big raindrops. Um, these next two ones are already in Logo Planet 2, but they are back in this game. This next one is the touch material. There's also a rounded edge one. So when you touch it, it glows up. Or it lights up. And uh, you see the dots on there. That's, see, that's front touch, and then the, the, the rounded dots is the back touch. This next one is a metal, uh, it's music notes or something, music box. And it doesn't get distorted when you zoom in on them, they stay clean. And then hologram, neon, and then this is uh, outline neon. So just the outline of it. Uh, this is ice, another neat looking one. Change the color. And then right here, this one is exclusive to the Vita called the Invisible Material. It's uh, kind of floaty and all. You can you can push yourself into it. You don't go through it. But when you're in preview or in play mode, you can't see it at all. See? I can't. There we go. See, I can't switch layers because I can't go through it. And that's pretty much just about all it does, but it's extremely useful for blocking boundaries and other things like that. So, um, I want to show you the corner editor. How you can grab multiple edges, certain edges, and and stretch objects. So, okay. so get your, your corner editor out, and you can draw your edges. Oops. Oh, let me select the object, and then you can draw your edges, and then pull them up like that. You can also access that menu from tweaking an object and clicking corner editor. Select your edges and then drag them. Or you can use the more traditional way of selecting your corners. But that's no fun. So, 
That's the anime materials, corner editor, and the UV tool.